to the place that we can see what has been there since before creation. The realm of the unseen. Now, when God told Israel to occupy the promised land, He gave them the perimeters of that promised land. Why do you think He would do that? Because God said, this is what I mean by filling the land. Not this, not this, not this, but this. I will make the perimeters of occup occupancy of this promised land. If we are to understand redemption, we must understand perimeters. If Israel was to understand what filling the land meant, they had to understand what are the perimeters of the land. We can know what man was before the fall by knowing what God will restore him to. So let's understand then, go to Isaiah 53, Isaiah 53, but he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed now I want to ask you a question Does this speak of the spiritual realm or the natural realm? Is this action a spiritual action or a natural action? Spiritual. Absolutely. This, what this is, is God saying, salvation for your spirit, for your emotions, and for your physical is all out of the unseen spiritual realm. That's God's, what God says. Is that what He says? If redemption's purpose is to restore what's lost in the fall, then we must understand redemption, or, or we must understand the perimeters. If God said, this is what I'm restoring, that means that's what it was. Salvation of your spirit, of your emotions, and of your body is a spiritual truth. That's what God's saying. He said, okay, here's the perimeters. Now, if we recognize, if we recognize that redemption is for the restoration of the perimeters and, uh, and the restoration of original purpose in man, then we must also see the only true way the church can approach God today is by the progression of of adjustments of those realms. True spirituality can only be gauged by your compatibility into that spiritual realm. It doesn't matter what we identify spirituality as being. It doesn't matter how much that the natural man might handle spiritual things. The only true gauging of spirituality is how well we can trans have transfer into that other kingdom. Spirituality is only gauged by how much can that church function 
in that unseen world. Because that's the spiritual world. The problem with the church today is we have taken spiritual things and brought them out of the spiritual realm, brought them into the natural realm, and made them spirituality. And they are not spirituality. They are spiritual things handled by a natural church. Yeah. Hallelujah. The only approach to God is the progression of the adjustment of those realms. And no matter how much we identify anything else, if it does not adjust those realms and bring us closer to that unseen, it becomes carnal just simply in the fact it is that which remains unredeemed and no progress is made toward its adjustment. That's a mouthful. Did you understand what I said? To be, to be reborn is not enough. To be baptized in water is not enough. To be baptized in the Holy Spirit is not enough. We must be in His image to do His purpose. If Israel had have entered into the Promised Land, their first campsite was a place called Gilgal. They circumcised all the uncircumcised and Gilgal meant the reproaches rolled away. But had they remained in Gilgal, would they have been in the will of God? No. Because God's purpose was to occupy all of the land, all of the perimeters of that land. So it is possible to be in the land and out of the will of God. Does that not tell us that it's possible to be born again? It's possible to be baptized in water. It's possible to even be baptized in the Holy Spirit and be in the land but out of the will because we're not progressing in the adjustment of those realms. Because we're not functioning in the unseen. We must press toward this adjustment. We must challenge ourselves and each other toward this adjustment. Any gospel that does not confront us with this truth will fail us. And let me tell you this. If we understand the fall and the fullness of redemption being man back at his original purpose then we can also understand that it doesn't make any difference we can be born again baptized in water and baptized in the spirit and still not be a threat to the enemy the great portion of our generation is no threat to the enemy because it's not the enemy that's them; it's God it's God that blocked that natural out of that spiritual place. It's God that keeps that uh, the, the operation of the unseen. And because He said... It,